Okay, folks. So I'm going to show you how to do uh, Bode plots in the uh, in Python. And so I, I, I kind of tested this before I started the started uh, working on this. So basically, uh, I'm going to import the control toolbox. I'm going to import the matplotlib plotting toolbox. I'm going to create three transfer functions. So if you watched my last video, I'm going to make g1. I'm looking on the board here. It's going to be um, one over s. Um, g2 is going to be uh, 1 over 0 0.1 s plus 1 and then g3 is going to be 1 over 0 0.5 s plus 1 and then I'm going to print g1 I'm going to print g2 I'm going to print g3 and then I'm going to go ahead and comment these out just so we don't get any plots popping up and I'm going to show you these three transfer functions and so there's g1, 1 over s, there's g2, 1 over 0 0.1 s plus 1, and there's g3, 1 over 0 0.5 s plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and do these three Bode plots. And so what I'm doing here is I'm saying, uh, give me a Bode plot, um, plot in decibels. That's what db equals true mean. It just means plot in decibels. If you don't have this, it's going to plot the magnitude and not the decibels. And then down here, I'm going to go ahead and just say, hey, show it. Okay. Um, Python has like an automatic scaling. And so on the x-axis, it's going to pick the phase for you. You don't necessarily get to pick that. Or sorry, the frequency. And then same thing with the magnitude. So it's, it auto scales all of this. Um, I probably need to do a label here, but um, there's, a pretty, uh, there's a pretty key order. So the first time it plots, it plots with the blue line. So this is my, um, my G1. Okay, and you can look, it's minus 20 dB for decade, and you can see at 10 to the minus 1, it's 20. At 10 to the 0, it's 0. At 10 to the 1, it's minus 20. And if this continued at 10 to the 2, it would be at minus 40. Um, you can see it, it stops at 10 to the minus 1, and that's because it has an infinite DC gain, and so it can't, it can't keep going because it would just get, it would just like blow up to infinity. You would get 10 to the minus 2 would be 40, 10 to the minus 3 would be 60, and so it has to, it has to stop somewhere. Now these plots here, the green one is G2. And G2, oh, sorry, it must be G2 is, is the orange one. Let's put some labels on here. Uh, label equals G1, label equals G2, label equals G3, and uh, plt.legend. I really hope this is okay. It's going to freak out, isn't it? No, it didn't. Hype. Okay, so G1 is the blue one, 1 over S. G2 has, if we look at, if you look, see over here, you see how there's like a Y, X, and Y coordinates right there at the bottom, over here. So if I put here at 10, that's my cutoff frequency, it's minus 3.3. So there's my minus 3 dB. And then it drops off at minus 20 dB per decade, right? So here it's at minus 20, so minus 20 dB per decade. Same thing with a phase plot. It's zero at the beginning, and then at my cutoff frequency, it's minus 45, and then it drops down to minus 90. You take the green one. This is G3. My cutoff frequency, I think, was 2. And so here's 10 to the 1. So then 2 is about, it looks like here. And so if I scroll up to where it crosses the green line, minus 3.06, there's my minus 3 dB. If I come down to here, there is 2, and it is at minus 45, and then as it goes off to infinity, it's minus 90. Okay? So now what I do is I just multiply the 3 together, and you're going to get the red line. And so the red line, it is minus 20 dB for decade here, as soon as it crosses the cutoff frequency of two, right, it starts to roll off at minus 40 per decade. So you see here it's already at minus 40 in one decade, but then it hits the other cutoff frequency at 10, and now it starts to drop off at minus 60. So 40 plus 60 is 100, so about here, that looks like it's already at one, negative 100 dB. So there's your full Bode plot put together, and it's exactly what we showed on the board there. You look at the phase, at the beginning it's minus 90, and then after the first roll off you get to uh, minus 180, and then after the second roll off you get to minus 270. 
This plot looks way better than the one I drew on the board over there, but, you know, hey, I did my best. Okay, so uh, hopefully those these three videos back to back to back, uh, just showing you how to do general first order Bode plots, showing you how to do three first order transfer functions put together, and then this Python code. Hopefully this will really help you out, and you'll be able to move forward on on drawing Bode plots from scratch. Um, probably uh, in a in a next video, I'll probably start talking about gain and phase margin and how that helps control system designers uh, tune controllers just by looking at Bode plots. Um, but for now, I'm just going to post these, and uh, if you have any questions, post in the comments.